In 2015, I uploaded a video that explains the Beaufort scale, which is a scale that is used to measure the strength of the wind. But there is a type of wind that is so strong that the Beaufort scale would not be applicable. Hurricanes, cyclones, typhoons, these may have different names, but essentially they are all the same. They are storms that can pack the most destructive winds on Earth. And in this video, I will be explaining how we measure these ferocious winds. The Saffir Simpson Scale, officially known as the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Wind Scale, was first developed in 1971 and named after the scale's founders, Herbert Saffir and Robert Simpson. The scale is based on a five-point system of measuring the strength of hurricanes, beginning from Category 1, the weakest, up to Category 5, the strongest hurricanes. But what are the damages that are caused by each level of the Saffir Simpson Scale? Well. A Category 1 hurricane is a storm with winds of at least 119 km per hour, increasing up to 153 km per hour. Even though this is the weakest level for a hurricane, these storms can still produce damage. For instance, caravans can be overturned and small trees can be uprooted. Furthermore, these storms can also remove poorly installed roof tiles. Even though this is the least destructive kind of hurricane, these are storms that can still be life-threatening, so always be vigilant. Category 2 hurricanes are significantly more powerful, with wind speeds of between 154 and 177 km per hour. These storms produce noticeable damage. Poorly constructed door and window frames will fail in these conditions, and unfastened small marine crafts would likely break free. Power outages are likely to occur for days with a Category 2 hurricane, and all of this is considered a minor hurricane. Category 3 hurricanes and above are what are classified by the National Hurricane Center as major hurricanes, with Category 3 hurricanes having winds of between 178 and 208 km per hour. The damage that is inflicted with a Category 3 hurricane is intense, with buildings that lack a solid foundation being destroyed and roof failures occurring widely. Interior flooding far away from the coastline is likely to occur and the vast majority of trees will be either debarked or uprooted. Category 4 hurricanes are devastating storms with winds of between 209 and 251 km per hour. All but the hardiest of trees will be uprooted at this point and all caravans and other mobile homes will be totally destroyed. Canopies at petrol stations are likely to be removed and into the debris field in the hurricane. Finally, power outages caused by a Category 4 storm are likely to occur not for days, but for weeks. And finally, we reach Category 5, which are hurricanes that produce totally catastrophic destruction. These are storms with winds at or above 252 km per hour. All but the most well-built structures are totally destroyed in these Category 5 hurricanes and coastal buildings may be swept away completely. Flooding will occur in pretty much all regions affected by the hurricane, and power outages will occur for months, if not years. Thank you for watching this video from MediaJF99, your guide to the world from a British perspective.